Hi guys, Shemo Polot here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a very unique case that I want to share with you guys. So I have a friend named James and he has a shop and he sells clothes. Now he sells the clothes with the prices varying by sizes. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create for him a price picker which allows him to pull up shirts, medium, and we can see the price of the medium sized shirts in an instant. Okay, let's get to it. So this is what the data looks like. We have all the items that he sells here, which is shirts, trousers, underwear, button downs, and then we have the different sizes, small all the way to double XL. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create drop downs, a drop down for item, a drop down for size, and then we are going to have the price in here changing dynamically based on the item and the size. Okay. All right. So let's do it. So first to start off, we want to get a drop down list for the item. In order to do that, we're going to use data validation. And so we click inside the box, we go up to data, we go to data validation. And then in this window, we leave this as list from a range. We leave that checked. And then we go to enter a range of formula and then we select the range you want, which is the different items. We just click in there and we get the range we want, C6 to C10, we click OK. And then we leave everything as is, we click save. And now we have a drop down with the items right in there. We do the same thing for size. Go up there, we enter the formula here. We just select all the way from small to double XL. Click OK, leave everything checked as it is. Click Save. All right, so now we have the sizes there as well. Okay, so now to get the dynamic price, what we're going to do is we're going to use a lookup reference. Now, there are a bunch of lookup references that you may or may not be familiar with. There is a VLOOKUP, which is one of the commonest used, and then there's Index Match, which is an improvement on VLOOKUP. And then if you have Office 365, there's XLOOKUP, which is an absolute beast that really just makes all the others relevant. But for today, I'm going to use both VLOOKUP in this exercise and Index Match. So let's see how to do that. Okay, so to get a dynamic price, what we're going to do is use the index match. So I type equal sign and index. And then these are the arguments that the index function takes. We have a reference, which will be the range of data that we are interested in. And then we shall have the row that it's looking for and the column that it's looking for. So the reference or the data that we're interested in is all the prices, which are going to go on in our dynamic price picker. So we select that range and then I fixed it by pressing function and F4. And then I press a comma. So now back in now. So now we want the row. We want to we want to find the row where we're going to get the value here, which is going to correspond to the size. Okay. So but we start with the row. So now to get the row, we're going to use a match function. So I type match. And so the match function takes a search key, a range, and a search type. The search type is really just whether or not you're looking for the exact match of the item you're searching or something that varies within some sort of range but yeah so the search key we're going to start with the search key what we want is we're telling google sheets i want you to match which item the item that appears in this box and we're going to fix that with fn plus f4 and then where are we getting that where this item that we're matching where are we getting it from we're getting it from this range up here so we select that range like that we fix it with fn f4 and then the search type is we want an exact match. Okay, so the default for an exact match is zero. And then we close that match function. And now we are back in the index function. We are done with the row. So we press a comma and now we go to the column. Okay, and so the column we want is going to be a value from up here. Okay, so what we do is we type another match function. The search key, what we're looking for is where do we want to find the function, the, the item that we are going to search in the table. We want to find it here. The size that appears here is what we want. Fix it with F and F4. Where are we going to find that size? Up here in the range of sizes. We fix that with F and F4. Use zero again as default for the search type. Close the bracket of the entire index function and we press enter. And now, right now, it's saying not available because I haven't selected any of these values. But once I select, say, T-shirts, and I select medium, 
the price appears and if we check and see t-shirts medium as you can see it is 18,000 and we can change these let me try extra large and let me try button downs just widen that a bit so button downs extra large we can see is 39,600 so our price picker is working okay so now the next thing that I want to do I want to go a little further so I want to create a scenario whereby we can change the values of the price. Maybe you want to change it from, sh right now what I'm using is Uganda shillings. Maybe I want to change it to US dollars. Maybe when I want to change it from ones to thousands, just because you can, but let's see how to do that. So I created a little helper box here, which has ones, thousands, and dollars, and the corresponding value, one, 1,000, and we're using an exchange rate of 3,600 from Uganda shillings to US dollars. All right, so I want this value to appear here. So I'm saying price in, and then I want to create a drop-down list that has these ones, thousands, or USDs right here. And you already know how to do that. We use data validation to create that drop-down list. So we click in the box, we go back to data, we go to data validation, and then in the range, we enter ones, thousands, and USD, K2 to K4, click OK leave everything as it is click save and now we have a drop down in here with ones thousands and usd okay so now let me just select ones for now so the box is in weird and empty all right so in this box right next to it i want to pull this value here and bring it here okay in order to do that we need to use a lookup reference that looks inside this helper table and what it does is it looks for the word here which is ones and wherever it's ones we want to return number one if it's thousands we want to return 1000 if it's usd we want it to return 3600 that's what we want to appear into that box in order to do that we use a vlookup okay so to do the vlookup i use the equal sign i type vlookup the search key again is what value am i looking for right i'm looking for ones this value here is what i want i fix it with fnf4 comma and then the range is in the table that I'm looking for this value. I need to find the table where ones is. And so let me first close this helper so you can see. So I go to this table. The range I want is that range. I fix that with FNF4. And then let me turn on the helper again so you can see the formula. So after we're done with the range, so now what we need is the index. And what, what Google Sheets is asking us is within this range that you've selected, I want to know what column I'm looking in. This is column one and this is column two. So the index is really the column number. And in this particular case, what we want is column two because we want to check in here for ones and then this value, which is number one, to come back. So we press two and then that's it. We close our bracket and we press enter. Okay, so now as you can see, so if I change this value to thousands, 1000 should pull up if i change this value to usd this 3600 should pull up so let me just uh change the formatting of this cell a bit bold it make the figure a bit bigger let's widen this cell a bit i'm going to change the color of its background just so it can stand out a little bit there we go and then i'm going to use a shortcut which is Control shift and the ampersand to put a border around it there you go so now this right here is useful but it's only useful if i can use these values to vary what this price looks like okay so in order to do that i need to connect connect this price to this box somehow so what i do is i go inside here and as you can see our index match formula is in there looking slightly complicated but all i want to do is add a divide sign and so i want to divide whatever price is in here by the value in this cell okay and i fix that with fn and f4 and i press enter so now every time i change the value in ones it appears as it is when i do thousands divides by 1000 and it rounds up to 40 in case you're wondering it would be 39.6 but it's rounded it up to 40 that's because of the formatting in this particular cell i could increase the decimal places there you go just to show you that you're not being crazy um, usd 3600 
And there you have it. So now James can look up whatever item of clothing he wants, look up trousers, and we're able to get the price of that item in real time without having to search through this table, which could be exhaustive. All right, and there we have it. That's how you can use um, a combination of data validation and uh, lookup references, in this case, index match and VLOOKUP to create lookup references within your Google Sheet so that you can find your prices really easily for your business. Um, let me know in the comments if this was useful. And also, if you think this was useful, then hit like. If you think this wasn't useful, then hit like anyway. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.